Right, today we're at a property and there's issues underneath the suspended timber floor and you know, 99 times out of 100, something I've been guilty of, put some more subfloor ventilation in. But you need to think about a building, say if it's 50, 70, 90 years old, what's changed? Why all of a sudden is timbers rotting? You know, is more vents actually going to fix it? When you get moisture evaporating from that floor, you get very high excess vapour pressures there and you get condensation forming intermittently depending on the time of year and this is what can happen as well the cause can be something simple like drains i don't know how clear that is on there but the drains are literally blown to pieces now everybody says about looking up you know and i've been guilty of this but you know let's look down as well Let's check the drains, let's check everything that's going on. You see new paths, new block paving. You can bet your bottom dollar these problems occur. So if you look just here, let's just put the sun on. Rigid. As you can see on there, about 40 centimetres down. That is where the damage is. We've gone down the rest of the drain, there's no problems elsewhere. It is literally just there. So, if you could imagine, if we went and put a load more subfloor ventilation in, it's not going to fix the issue. You could use the best treated timber, but, you know, it's not as reliable as fixing the problem. So, root cause again, eliminate all potential defects before coming to conclusion. Right. So, you can see the collar there. Um, you can see you've got your water mains that down there and you can see that's where the damage is so it's probably when the path was done but again when you look in here you can see there's no gravel you normally put a little bit of piecing on, on top of these so people that dig in a hole can actually see where they are but yeah so we're going to replace all this now and hopefully that is going to solve all the issues